Yo, e dog. <coughs> oh. oh, man. I was in the middle of a really great dream. Oh, you mean the one with the Japanese tea garden? Yeah. Dude, this will make you feel better. I was doing some talking. Abacus told me that he overheard a conversation between the lamp and the hot water tap. They told me to keep this on the down low, but Spritz and Roll told them that shampoo, mm -hmm. she just broke up with Barbasol. This place is such a freaking rumor mill. Uh, I don't know. Shampoo, I hear she's gay. She was totally going out with Barbasol. Well, yeah, yeah, but Barbasol's a girl, right? That's why they broke up. I'm a math book. My name is Elementary Classical Analysis, and I am proud of what I do. People, they aren't born knowing higher mathematics, regular mathematics. They need to be taught, and that's what I do. I provide a service. No one has actually ever read me, but the point is, if someone did, I would help them out. Now, my inside front cover says Ben Larman, but I'm not owned by him anymore. Um, I'm actually owned by a fellow named Jason, but I, I'm not in his room either. I'm, in fact, I'm being borrowed by a guy named Tomasa Shortino. That's, uh, that's him in the middle right there. He draws a comic strip about me, uh, which is actually more or less pretty right on. I think sometimes he goes a little bit overboard, but that's more or less to be expected. It's finals time, and everyone is real excited. Um, after finals, things tend to die down, so everyone wants to do one big thing before it all happens. What's up, BCA? Hey, Gubbis. Oh my god, did you hear? Yeah, I heard. Shampoo and Barbasol are totally broken up. I'm so excited for you. Oh, she's so cool. Yesterday, I was hanging out with the guys, and then I saw Shampoo, and she was like, Oh man, she's so cool. Okay. Yeah, she's really cute and really hot. She's not too bad looking, and she's such a nice girl. You should go ask her out, like, now. What's up, baby? Hey, Dad, I do. What's up? We were just talking about ECA asking out Shampoo. Ooh, have E-Dog and Shampoo gotten their makeout on yet? <laughs> I wish. Hey, guys. Hey, What's up, hey Pat? ECA, I totally support you asking out girls, but, and I think this is a very important point, you should keep an open mind about who to ask out. Huh? I was thinking that I I just, wrote a haiku. Oh, that was really great, but I was hoping to... ECA is nice. I wish I had a boyfriend. Yes, that would be nice. Uh, wow, Pot. That, that was that's really not sweet. quite kind. I, I, I don't know what haiku was. Uh, I really am really a good. hot huh? pot. Why doesn't anyone care? Please make out with me. Oh, no, that's just inappropriate. Uh, I think hey. that... T.I., maybe we should go uh, to that yeah. appointment we have right, to Alright, we out. Uh, look, I, I like you a lot, Pot, um, as a person who lives in the same room with me and that I talk to every once in a while, or something, but I just, um, and I think that, that you being a ceramic object and me being, um, well, it's not you, Pot, it's, well, it's not me, but, uh, well, blame the universe, really. Oh. Sorry. So I was thinking, if a director wanted to use me in a movie, uh, there's no way he could show the passage of time. You sure about that? Um, well, let me think about it. Hmm. 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 Man, I can't believe you thought about that for four hours. Neither can I.
So tonight was that fake date episode of Friends, right? Where Joey goes on a date with Rachel. Huh? Yeah, see, he was going to go on a date with this other girl, and she and Rachel was like, oh, yeah, let's go on a date together. That would be so much fun. I haven't been on a date in a while you know, since, you know, I'm pregnant and everything. She's pregnant? Yeah, she's pregnant with Ross's baby. Where have you been? Why is she going on a date with Joey if she's pregnant with Ross? She's not with Ross. She's had a one-night stand, and, you know, they figured out it was Ross because they found a shirt in the apartment, remember? And they uh -huh. thought that it belonged to that younger guy that she was seeing. What's his name? I don't know, whatever. But then he ended up being wearing the shirt. And then Ross was his was name like, Chandler? Hey. No, it wasn't Chandler. Chandler's the one who's married to Monica. I only know so many characters. Okay, well, Chandler and Monica are married, and then there's Phoebe. They're married? Yeah. They, they're God, married, the and that's... that I miss. That's when they found out that Rachel was pregnant with Ross's baby. Only they didn't know it was Ross's baby then. But it sucks, because I always wanted Joey to end up with Phoebe, because I thought they'd be perfect Wait, together. which one's Phoebe? Phoebe's the one with the twin. You know, Ursula, who was on Mad About You? Oh yeah, I loved that show. Whatever happened to that? Oh, sorry. I uh, see you later. Gotta go. Oh, okay. Um, bye. <laughs> So, uh, how do you feel? Not too good. I've just been sleeping and crying and drinking and then trying not to think about it. Come on. TM-82 is a resourceful guy. You remember that time he mailed himself back from France? Yeah. Well, that took a lot of, of you know, postage, you know? I guess. Look, I, I wish I was a sensitive guy and I could say something to make you feel better. Oh, that's okay. No, 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 it's, it's not, it's not. Let, let me think. Okay, okay. If you're going to cry, then you should make sure to have good quality tissue paper. Well, you know I can't really cry. Yeah, 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 but hear me up. It'll, it'll scruff up your nose something fierce. Okay. You mean like that paper they have at school where it's just like a piece of bark that they ripped off a tree? Exactly. And then you try to blow your nose with this beaver on the other end, and he's all like, this here is mine, see? Yeah, yeah, and he's talking like a 1930s gangster for no good reason. Okay, well that seems reasonable. Well, uh, okay, in what ways are gangsters like beavers, you know? Beavers eat wood, and, and 1930s gangsters occasionally eat lead. Yeah, that's clever. What were we talking about? So then this girl found me and brought me back here. It's nice to take another trip, but I'm really missing my baby, though. You travel a lot? Yeah, actually. I've been in the south of France, Prague, Budapest, you know, bummed around Europe for a while. That sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, I'd give it all up, though, just to know my girl's all right. She's a tough cookie, though. She can handle herself. Fascinating. Psst, yeah. So you've been all over, huh? Just about. You ever been in the moon? You ever been punched by a calculator? Negative. Well, TI-92 is the greatest boyfriend. No, he really liked you. He was always talking about how you were totally rad. We're really compatible. I kind of think you and Shampoo are like that. Well, how do you mean? Well, okay, you like Louis Prima, right? Well, I like to sing his stuff. Well, she was listening to some of his stuff. Well, I like to think I'm a little bit more complicated than that. Well... Well, what do you think makes a good couple? Well, they should enjoy hanging out with each other and have complimentary attributes. Like, uh, one should be a good talker and the other a good listener? Yeah, yeah. But they should also have, you know, stuff in common. I think they should be friends first. Well, yeah, I mean, that's definitely a plus. But there's also something to be said for a mysterious stranger. <laughs> I'm sure. I don't know. I mean, I guess most of the stuff you can't know until you try. 
Like perhaps. Yes. By asking out shampoo, you big dork. I should do that. Hi there. I, uh, I was wondering, yeah, you weren't doing anything Friday. Actually, I was wondering yeah, if, if you cared to answer, um, what the, uh, what the fastest land animal was. Yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> guess you're probably still the cheetah. Yeah. Because they're endangered, you know. Well, not to say that you wouldn't know. I mean, uh, you know, even though I'm a book and you're, uh, uh, yeah, you, you're not. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're not, you know, as smart as me or anything. Because yeah, lots of my friends are hygiene products, and yeah, they're not particularly dumb or anything. What I'm trying to say is, well, see, I have this problem communicating because of latent fears about my own self-worth, which really isn't quite uncommon for a book. I mean, well, I mean, it isn't normal, but it's, well, eh. Will you go out with me? No. So, did you ever wonder about Golden Girls? With Sophia, she's like, hey, pussycat, Sicily, you know, but she's really like, she doesn't talk like she's from Sicily at all. I, uh, I never really noticed that. Or on Dream On, where it's all, it's all like, you know, this guy is getting lots of action. But there's really, there's no way a guy that looks like him, like the guy on Dream On, is a, could, could get that much, you know. Yeah, I, I, uh, I guess life's not like in the movies. Well, yeah. I was talking about TV, man. Oh, I, I'm sorry. He used to have a crush on Compass, huh? Uh. What's with that? I don't really know. It was getting complicated. And then she started going out with TI-92, and, and he's probably a better choice for her. I don't know. I just, I've been feeling like, like crap lately. And... On, on TV, the guys, they're always upset because of the girl that got away. You know, like Charlie Brown. Oh, I hate Charlie Brown. Am I the only person who finds that comic strip really depressing? Probably not. I just wish I wasn't so lonely. Well, if you're lonely, and if... And if she's lonely, what? You, know, you should ask out Compass. No, no. TI-92... It's it, gone. You can't let things like friendship get in the way. It's all about not being alone. And you gotta go for it, you know? Like, like Kevin Arnold. Dude. From, you know, from the Wonder Years. Oh, I, I never watched the Wonder Years.
uh, Compass. We've been friends for a long time, and I, I think because I know you so well, um, I could say that I think you're really cool, and we should totally ha hang out, but like, on a date. Well, don't, uh, don't leave me hanging, you know, just, just tell me yes or no, or, or... I think she's asleep. What? Look, I want to apologize for being too, too much the other day. No, no, don't be. I, it's totally understandable, well, and... Well, I realize that... I like you, but I can't like you and want to change you into someone who likes me. Because then, you wouldn't be who you are, and then you'd be someone else that you aren't. And I'd like the other guy, but you, I... I no, no, I, I think I understand. <sighs> What's going on? Are you, are you guys talking about the tea garden? Um, no, no. Uh, we're, no, we're talking about nothing. That, actually, Pot and I were talking about really good hummus recipes. Hmm. Have, have you guys tried it... With lemon juice and lime juice? But lemon and lime what? juice? You, you must be totally insane. Island is a great show. You should definitely watch it. Are you sure? Positively. What makes you have all these guys, and they have so many pretty girls, and they have these... Oh, is that a new show? No, no, no. It's been around for two, three years. Three seasons. Three seasons? Yeah. And it's only on Fox, too. I mean, as you would expect. Fox has crappy programs. Fox has quality programs. No, it doesn't. <laughs> uh -huh. 